Left alone for just a few minutes, thousands of small children every year land themselves in hospital. My dad and my milk, Jack. He's recovered from the initial shock, but the severe damage to the skin tissue. She has very nasty burns on both hands. We'll need to do several skin crafts to prevent any permanent disability. Many household chemicals now have bottle caps, which children can't undo. But they can't protect your child if you pour the contents into another container. Now, he wants to eat in a blue cup. We're now measuring blood levels to determine the risk of brain damage and possible blindness. Just a few teaspoonfuls of his chemical can be fatal. You can see from the chest x-ray, the small amount of turpentine contained in the vomit which he inhaled has scarred a large area of both lungs. Now you drink up your milk like a good boy. His lungs are now permanently damaged. Keep all household products in their original containers. Keep them in a cupboard out of children's reach. And keep the cupboard locked. Keep children safe. When you walk the country's wildest mountains, you learn how to keep warm. It can be much more difficult as you get older or less mobile, but there are things you can do. Wrap up well, especially outdoors. Several thin layers are much better than one thick layer, and natural fibers generally keep you warmer. Exercise keeps muscles supple and the circulation flowing. So keep active. Move about as much as possible. Traditional hot meals and plenty of hot drinks will make you feel warmer inside. And make sure the area you spend most time in is snug and cozy. At the end of the day, stay warm in bed with plenty of blankets and a hot water bottle. The old-fashioned bed socks and a hat should keep you comfortable. For more information, ring 0800 83 85 87 3. Keep warm this winter.